Pisces, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Pisces, trust there is a message here for you. Whether you're a regular viewer or this has just popped up, you know, in your feed on your homepage, and you're like, you know what? I feel called to click on that. Let's see what comes through. I like to start with a couple of oracle cards. And I've got confidence is your key to success. Yeah, absolutely, because you need to have the belief, the self-belief or the belief in the goal, uh, the dream, the hope, in order for it to actually manifest. It's such a part of the process, okay? So you're being asked to have the confidence to sort of, you know, own it. Sometimes we have to fake it till we make it, until it becomes our, our natural state. New moon in Leo, the Leo energy, it rules the spine and the heart. So I always say it's about having the confidence and the courage to follow a call of the heart. And maybe you're needing to increase your, you know, your, your self-worth, your self-value and your confidence to make that happen. Let's keep going, Pisces. I have the Oracle of the Angels. I'm building on that message. And that is definitely going to be your key to success. Okay, so you've got success energies coming in. I'm sort of feeling a little bit more work career or maybe reaching a, you know, a financial goal or a setting yourself up goal here uh, with this reading. So it'll be interesting to see what comes through. But you're being told that, you know, you can be on the path to success or maybe if you increase your confidence and belief you know that goal can come into fruition for you okay yeah nine of wands because i think you're coming from a place where you have tried really hard and you've pushed but this is a bit of a struggle energy okay the nine the nines are all about bringing something into fruition and like i said i think you have been putting in the action and the effort and the energy but there's a piece missing and that's the belief, right? That's lining up your vibration with this. I know that might sound a bit woo, but it is such an important piece. So shift that mentally. And I just feel like you're going to move closer towards success. Yeah, because the universe is here. And this is the last of the 22 major arcana cards that comes after final judgment. And that for me, it's a liberation energy. It's a victory energy, and it's an energy where you move into a profound new cycle with a whole world of potential on your side. So it feels like there is like an old uh, cycle completing, one where you had to struggle and push and grind. But confidence is your key to success, and it just feels like you're going to be moving with more ease and flow in this next chapter. Uh, another nine. Yeah, we're swapping the nine of wands for the nine of pentacles. Now, this is all things uh, health, wealth, vitality, abundance. It is a self-made, independent, very, very successful energy. So, for example, a nine of pentacles move here would be somebody who is in a leadership position in their career, maybe someone who's on an entrepreneurial journey, somebody who can run a, a department or an initiative. Um, it's such a, a contract or a freelancer. So maybe you're wanting to be more responsible, more accountable, or take one of those big steps. But the nine of wands, it's like maybe, you know, there's been a struggle or you just haven't gotten chosen for it because of that energy, right? Maybe you haven't been holding the energy of that leadership. But here we have a shift, right? We've got a new era, a new cycle, and we have success around this Pisces, but you just need to move into confidence. Yeah, the tower is here. And look, maybe you've had a situation where you've missed out on opportunity. You know, the tower for me is like we need to do a ground up rebuild here. You know, maybe where you're where you have been in terms of your work career hasn't been in alignment, right? Maybe we've got a situation here where there needs to be a change, right? The tower is one of the biggest cards of realignment in the tarot. It wants to move you. It wants to move you closer to bringing that into success. But the nine of wands, maybe we're pushing in the wrong direction or you know, maybe it was a timing issue. So the tower is saying, look, you can rebuild twice as strong, but we've got to look at the foundation. Do I enjoy this? Do I believe I can be successful here and when you do we get the ten of cups right this is one of my blessed best life energies you know this is that happiness and uh, satisfaction and contentment so we're really being told here that you're moving past a struggle time a, str a time of struggle where you might have faced the tower 
where you might have felt like things were falling down around you, but you are entering a new era, one of, you know, the Ten of Cups, like the, your best era yet. So if you are going through a tower moment, the message is clear. Just make sure that you let go and go with the flow. The Page of Wands is here and it's a message of good news, right, that takes you on a new journey. So I just get the feeling that you are actually moving on from a stressful situation. You might even be uh, moving on from a job. You might be going, you know what, it is the time to start that entrepreneurial journey or to go freelance. And the Page of Wands says you can... You know, there is potential for that here. You just need to start. But first of all, it begins with that confidence. So the best is most definitely yet to come here. You're heading for success. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you would like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check those out. And uh, what else? Oh, there's useful links down below as well, including my Instagram. I'm really active and interactive over there with daily readings, so you might want to follow along there. For now, I'll just wish you so much love and magic. Do take care, Pisces. Bye for now.